You can see the absolute devastation here in Bucha, left by the fighting as Russian forces were beaten back. The wreckage of Russian vehicles is littering this street and also you can see the damage to the houses around. Right now, today, there are a lot of Ukrainian military here. Um, there's, we've seen demining going on. There's a big attempt to start trying to clear up this town. Residents as well coming out, but there's still no power. There's no water here. It's going to take an awful long time for life to get any sign of normality. And all the while, there is the concern that, yes, while Russian forces have pulled back, are they pulling back just to regroup and maybe to attack again? This is the street where a number of bodies were found just abandoned on the road and we've been talking to a few residents from that apartment block over there and we just found them standing in the street and I started talking to them and it just gives you a sense of how literally everybody here has a horror story to tell. One woman I spoke to described how she saw Russian soldiers who came to their apartment building uh, asking one of her neighbours to show them his documents. This man, she said that he was nearly 50, uh, he went to go and find his documents but as he went to go and find them, she says that she saw the Russian soldiers shoot him in the back of the head. She then took us around the back of the apartment block where on the ground the neighbours have, have dug three graves where they buried this man and two others who they say were shot by Russian soldiers.